Hello everyone and welcome back to Fuzzy Ferret Farm and of course to Stardew Valley. Oh, it has been a little while since I said that. Now, I do believe, yes, in the last episode, I was a little bit disappointed to find out that Emily didn't appreciate my interior decoration skills. Uh, and I strongly suspect it may have been because I put torches on the floor, which apparently count as rubbish. But I'm liking this little kind of... Uh, drawing room area and we've got a sitting room down here i think we need to move things around still possibly even get a bigger dining table if that is possible hello oh oh i saw another one did you really i'm counting squirrels <laughs> that is such an emily thing to do oh uh let me go and find you something nice then we will choose a ruby for today there you go carry out this gift is fabulous, thank you so much. And also, to say sorry for last night. <gasps> I'll accept this, thank you! You're welcome, even though it doesn't really mean the same thing as it used to, but uh, apparently it still makes you blush, so that's actually incredibly endearing. Hey, I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. Okay, see you soon, Shane. Thank you very much, Shane. Now then, as one of the first things I'd like to uh, point out, uh, I'm sure a few of you have already noticed, my voice sounds a little bit different. And, well, actually, what can I do with this? Can I... I'm just going to trash that. We don't need it. Um, yeah, my voice sounds a little bit different because I have had braces fitted. And, uh, yeah, they, I'm going to be lisping a little bit with English. So, uh, hopefully you can uh, forgive how extra derpy I sound for a little while as I get used to talking with braces again. They literally were only fitted, like, yesterday. Or, actually, the day before. So, I'm still trying to uh, learn how to use my lips around all of this extra profile that, that is currently uh, on the front of my teeth. Uh, I'm sure many of you have gone through the same thing. Um, but, yeah, it feels a little bit weird for me right now. Uh, let's get all the traps rebated. There we go. Fantastic. We'll uh, load that into my fishing rod. Um, right, I'm moving extra fast, which is nice. You know what? Let's start from over here today, I think. We're going to start by saying hello to all of our rabbits. There we are. Hello, lovelies. Uh, did I have any spare? No, I did not. Had no spare um, wool to start weaving. Um, actually, thinking about it, I'm a little bit co uh, conscious of the fact that we don't have an awful lot of fodder uh, put by. And winter is just around the corner, really. So I'm going to go ahead and gather up as much um, fodder as we can today without... Um, damaging the amount of food that the rest of our animals would have. Uh, we've got melon jelly, very well. We will replace it with another melon jelly in that case. Let's uh, pop you down there. Do need to fill that area out because that's really where a lot of our money comes from. Uh, well, actually, that being said, uh, it's where large chunks of money come from very quickly, but it's not not strictly speaking where a lot of our money comes from because we've got we get so much from uh um from our animals produce hello darlings oh it has been a while i'm so sorry oh no i i need to uh, is this punishment i ah uh, i can't get drat damn and blast i can't see i can't see for eggs which you'd think would be a good thing but in this instance not really we have a duck that is refusing to move and is causing a big old traffic jam <laughs> oh you scallywag duck you there we are John, uh, should have known it was you, John. Actually, I, 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 John has never particularly been a, a bad behaviour. It just felt like something I should say. Uh, let's pop this down there, and the duck egg, and uh, we'll go with the remaining uh, silver white eggs. There we go. We can pop these eggs back in there. Okay, so halfway through taking care of our animals, which is a very big job almost every single day. There we are. We'll drop a couple of these off. Um, sorry, Snail. No particular desire for you at the moment. All of that needs to go as well. The driftwood can go too, and the melon jelly, and uh, yeah, the hot peppers. Now, these duck feathers, let me go and have a look. Yeah, we've only got a silver duck feather, so we'll drop that off there. I think that's a pretty good idea. We'll take that one down, and then we can sell them. We'll drop the 
uh, iridium truffle in there. That's actually very, very nice. Uh, we'll get rid of these. That one can go as well. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better. Now, where is Leafin? Is Leafin still up here? There we are. Put it down, Leafin. Also, come on out, you. Almost forgot. Ooh, that would have been bad. I would have been told off in the comments, and rightly so. Hello. Right, I do believe I had the uh, milk pail on me. There we are. Let's say hello to everyone. Don't move away, or I might accidentally try to milk one of the pigs. There we go. Also grab all the cheese on the way. Now I'm thinking I might actually store the cheese this time. It's been a little while since I have. Uh, that way we've got uh, plenty put by so that I can make pepper poppers in the near future. Hello. How are you doing, sweeties? Hopefully well. In fact, yes, it does appear very well. Uh, there we go. And no. Uh, it's only gold, though. It's not, none of it's already... Oh, there we are. I spoke too soon. So we they they are happy, after all. There we are. Uh, well, actually, given that so little grass is around there, I'm actually not going to cut that back. Looks like Robin still needs a little bit of time before she's done down here. Let's uh, get you milked before I lose track of who I have milked. There we go. And you as well. Perfect. Let's go for you. There we go. Everyone is happy. There we are. And I would say hello to Robin, but she'll think I'm nagging her, which does grieve me a little bit, I, I will confess. As well, many of you probably know at this point. Right, let's get... Oh, there we are. Good. You've made her all the way over there. And we'll drop off... Oh, I forgot to let them out. Um, a scallywag in disguise. Let me drop all those off. We did actually get quite a lot of uh, iridium milk, though. I'm very pleased with that. Pop all of that up top. There we go. And we should be ready to decide what else we're going to do with our day at this point. Um, could go down the mine. I'm actually leaning towards the mine today. It's already 12 p.m. Half the day is gone. I'm wondering if we're going to have much... Uh, much more honey before the seasons end and all of the flowers perish i hope so all right i'm gonna go right, excuse me thank you let me go and drop this off in the fridge there we are and bump now do i actually have any peppers no i don't i should have probably kept the peppers then in in retrospect oh well too late now right well i am heading out for the day my dearest i am off to the mines hopefully to find more gems so that i can give you your favorite gifts every single day uh we'll also grab some wildflowers as well while we're out and about there we go and i will be back a little bit later aggro um you know what let's go to the quarry let's see how the quarry is doing uh, it's not too bad. A little bit of copper, an extra little bit of copper, even more little bits of copper. And finally, is that an aquamarine? Yes, it is. Marvellous. Fantastic, in fact. That's, that is one of Emily's favourites, and thus it is also one of mine. Uh, let's drop these off. Any Well, we can drop off pretty much everything in here. Will you stop doing that? Um, milk pail, we'll keep the hoe, the axe, the scythe can go back in there. What? No. Uh, that's good enough. Uh, yeah. I think that'll do. Let's organize this a little bit better for myself. What I'd like to do is mm, start around 45 and then maybe make it down to the fishing spot. It would take a bit of speed to make it all the way down there, I think. But we'll see if we can. Oh, I've been slimed. Drat. Drat, diamond blast. But we'll we'll see if we can find some uh, interesting stones out and about. We'll uncover a couple of tiles, though, as we go. And there we are. We've got our way down already. I'll try and clear the levels of, of uh, monsters if I can. Simply because it brings us that little tiny bit closer every single time to us being able to uh, actually get some of the rewards for slaying monsters, even though I feel remarkably guilty whenever I do it. We have to kill entirely too many monsters, in my opinion. Entirely too many. Let's have a look over there. Ooh, some frozen fields. I approve. 
uh, a visit to Clint is in our immediate future, I would say. There we go. I do actually need some bats, I would say, as they've got the better chance of dropping the scrolls, from what I recall. If I haven't totally forgotten which scroll it is I need. I may have. That is the uh, danger of uh, not playing the game for a little while. Hello. Sorry. Sorry my way of saying hello is so violent. <laughs> I apologize. Right, let's grab this. I actually really like this song. It's really chilled out. This is... This remains a game that I could quite happily just play. Oh, we've got it. Wow. We have been rewarded. And I suspect it's because I was just about to compliment the game. I was about to say this remains a game that I can uh, quite happily play just to chill out. Um, just on a different save and just wander around. I've also been looking a lot lately at uh, mods, uh, mostly graphical mods rather than gameplay mods. But uh, I've uh, I've joined at the uh, the Stardew Discord and I've met quite a lot of lovely people on there who are very knowledgeable about good mods for someone who just wants to decorate the world. Uh, if you are like me and enjoy decorating the world, then I cannot possibly recommend it enough. All right, there we grab all of this. Um, given the time, there's no point in me trying to get to the library at this point. I think we'll do better just exploring the place and maybe we'll find some gems for Emily as well, which is really the main reason I came down here. But uh, I'm very happy with the, the scroll find. I hope, I just really hope that I'm not getting excited about uh, the wrong thing. And I'm like, yes, I finally got the scroll. And I go there and it's like, no, no, you've already got like three three copies of this. You've been throwing them away. You've got so many. Huh? No. Uh, in before that's actually what happens. Some of you may be uh, a little bit, uh, may have better memories than I and know exactly which scroll I need. And if it isn't Dwarf Scroll 2, I can only imagine you're there just face palming, right? Probably even double face palming because I sound extra derpy with my excitement right now. I am certain. All right, let me uh, grab all this. I'm not taking you, Torch. Still got traumatic memories from, well, last night in game. Uh, I can't believe she said it was trash. I was so proud of the way it looked as well. That's what made it worse. It wouldn't have been bad if I was like just experimenting. It's like, oh yeah, you know that that, that kind of works. It's kind of neat to to note, kind of in a full science way. But no, no, I was super excited, and then she called it trash. That that made it all the worse. My lord. Okay, I even went to the effort of hoeing the ground, and we didn't really find much. A uh, bit of a bit of a nothing level this one, honestly. But uh, we are getting close to the point where we can do a little bit of fishing. So, um, I'll well, actually let's skip forward a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish the night with a little bit of cave fishing. Uh, it's been a while since we've done that. Uh, it's it's nice just to relax a little bit, you know. Ooh. Oh. I was getting excited there, apparently for nothing. Though that probably got a lot to do with the fact I haven't got a lure on this. I really do need to make a note in my brain, a brain note to get a new lure. Also, it's especially useful because I'm fairly certain that Willie's birthday is tomorrow. So actually that gives us a reason to go down there, you know, other than it being his birthday and I was going there anyway. Ah, scallywag, I was hoping for a perfect. Uh, but yeah, we'll pop down there, we'll purchase a lure. Ooh. We have got a ghost fish. A new record, no less. I am happy with that. Um, I wonder what I'm going to get um, Willie for his birthday, though. Because it's oh, really trash. Uh, that was a terrible cast. My bad. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think I've got a sea cucumber somewhere. I believe he likes those. He likes very few fishing things. I think catfish, sea cucumbers. I think there's at least one other fish that he likes, but I don't recall what it is. Um, I think there's a bunch of meals that he's okay with, but, um, I'm pretty sure he likes some gems, too. I'll have to check out which gems I've got, because I'm not going to give any of the rubies away. Uh, I've got a bunch of diamonds, though, and I'm fairly certain, yeah, because, uh, Emily doesn't like diamonds, so I may as well give them to Willie, then. Uh, or just anyone else who happens to appreciate diamonds. It's, the value to me has gone down dramatically. 
And that's going to be the last of it. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of just old tat, really, from all of that. But uh, it's not the worst thing that's happened, I suppose. All uh, right. We need all of our things back. Um, some things are going to have to stay. The slime can stay. Uh, that can come along. Is there really no room for the slime? Well, um, oh, what? Well, scallywags. Let me pop that in the trash along with you. There we go. Actually, I should. Oh, no. There we go. Now I've got everything. <laughs> My lord. Right, take me back to the bus stop, please. Hello, Agro. Or Argo, rather, <laughs> Agro. That's entirely a different thing. Right, there we go. Close the gate behind us as well. And, um. Did we really. Uh, well, we'll get rid of the algae. Don't really particularly want that. The winter root can go. Slime can go. We really don't need any more bat wings or quartz, really, for that matter. Um, spice berry and the sweet pea can go. Okay. Right. Now I need to just drop a couple of things off. Thank you very much, Agro. Argo, rather, again. Uh, right, let's drop all of these off. Uh, the frozen tears, the iron. Actually, we can go ahead and uh, make uh, a few things with that right now. The aquamarine is going to stay in my inventory. So is a diamond. Ghostfish is going elsewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and start pairing the iron. There we go. Uh, I'll leave that in my inventory, I guess, just so that I can uh, easily take care of it tomorrow as well. Uh, for that matter, I'm also going to have to leave... Uh, I guess that goes in the fridge, actually, thinking about it. Uh, the sap can go there, though. And, yeah, I think we're more or less done. Okay. Right. Well, that was a reasonably profitable trip to the mine, in my opinion. Uh, we got them in here. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay. And uh, the ghost fish. Mm, you know what? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll sell the ghost fish. I almost didn't pay attention to the time. Ah. Same old Amok, it seems. I may not have played in a while, but I've still got my old habits of, you know, not paying attention to the clock and then passing out. No star. Ooh, level 9 mining. Oh, well, that is a lovely uh, reward for coming back to the game. A, a dwarf scroll and mining. Uh, what Plus one pickaxe proficiency, and I can now make the crystallarium. I might actually do that. I might make a couple of them. That would be quite fun. And we made, in total, only 9,582. That's actually quite bad, I'm thinking about it. I'd like to make a, a little uh, over 10k, ideally. Right, day 24. Cock-a-doodle-doo, indeed. You know what? I'm going to have to move that, aren't I? Yep. There we go. Let's check. It is indeed Willie's birthday. Ah! My memory isn't completely useless. It's just useless for really important things. Hey, someone must have gotten a good night of sleep. You look fresh this morning. Do I really? Fantastic. I approve. I'm glad. Um, do I have anything I really want to make? Um, no, I don't think I do. Uh, right. Well, first and foremost, I got this for you last night. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Uh, let's move on. I'm not going to give her another bouquet straight away. That, that kind of... Uh, it's, it's wasteful, in my opinion. There's already loads of flowers, and I, I want to, to let the other bouquet you know, linger a little little while, just so that she gets proper, you know, a, a good amount of use out of it. Um, I, I feel that flowers you can overdo. You can give someone way too many flowers, and then it gets upon like, I've run out of vases! Where on earth do you expect me to put these things? Um, so, yeah, dial that back a little bit. I forgot to close the doors. <gasps> what a scoundrel I am. Well, I mean, the punishment will be, oh my God, it's going to be hard to work out who I have greeted and who I have not. Uh, on the plus side, though, let's go and uh, water your dog bowl. Uh, no, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't get... Ah! I'm stuck by a duck. Aha! There we go. Oh, okay. Right. Rushing around, saying hello to all, all my chickens. Ooh, I see you there, you sneaksy little wiggly worm. Aha! Clay. Ah, uh, the wiggly worms just don't love me the way they used to. They used to give me all kinds of wondrous and, and crazy things. We're actually almost full on, uh, on that, which is kind of interesting. Hello. 
Uh, well, let me go and grab all of... Ooh, we got a little bit of honey. That's always nice to see. Probably got some... Uh, oh, that was totally a mistake. Let's pop that down there. There we go. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Yoink. And uh, we'll grab that. Right, I'm going to need to take out my bait. Uh, I do need to get down to Willy's before it's too late in the day. I don't know when he closes shop. Um, there we go. Okay, right. Some part of my stuff is now somewhat organised. That's a lie. Nothing in my inventory is ever organised. Uh, right, well, we have got you. Let's go ahead and pop you in there. Let's also sell the fish. Um, that extra bit of clay I got as well, I can go. Uh, right. Agro, take me over to the bunnies. We need to say hello to them. Oh, man, there's just random cows all over the place. Um, hello. You're supposed to be down on the bottom of the farm. This is this is craziness. Craziness, I tell you. Oh. They appear to be reasonably happy though, as they have left me some some uh um wool to weave. Uh, hello. Oh, I can say hello I can say hello to you on aggro. My lord! Why didn't I already know this? That seems like it would be incredibly useful. Just ride around, saying hello to all of the animals as I pass them by. Ah, all that efficiency. Wasted. Right, well, it, it's far too late for me to change my ways. Hello. None of the goats will need to be milked today. Hello, there we go. Don't you worry. Hiya. There we are, and you as well. Perfect. I've got to pop inside. Yeah, oh, wonderful. Right. Um, super tempted as I was in the the end of the last episode, as I mentioned, I am tempted to ooh, go ahead and get the next um, upgrade for the house before I do anything else. But at the same time, I must confess, I would love it if all of our barns were upgraded to the highest level. Uh, hello? There we go. Oh, Vitamlix. Uh, oh. uh, Vitamlix has kidnapped Argo. Okay, we've got some truffles. Thank you very much. And have you been milked? You have not. There we go. Okay, well, that was kind of crazy, but uh, in a way, I actually enjoyed it. All right, let's grab all of this we can and decide how much of the milk is going to be processed. Uh, not that much today, only four. There we go. Okay, pretty happy with that, actually. Now, oh, that's actually kind of cute in a way. Tom Nixon and uh, Argo are, are kind of chilling. I, I really... But I'm, as cute as it is, I would have liked to have been able to whiz around the farm super fast on uh, Argo, but uh, no, okay, fair enough. Who am I to get in the way of your bonding? Uh, there we go, grab some more iron, and also some quartz, and put some more iron in the furnaces, and we uh, oh, are done, I think. Uh, yeah, let's drop all of this off then. I have got places to be. People to see at those places, no less. Uh, we will drop off. Wow, all of them. That is lovely. Let's get all those in there. Uh, the cheeses can be put aside for now. And with that, let's head on down. I'm going to be doing everything on foot today, it seems. So, first stop. Ooh. I will accept you, Grape. Thank you. I will head down to the town and we will see if this indeed was the door scroll that I needed. Thank you. There we are. Right. It has been a while. I would like to donate to the museum. <gasps> it was! Uh, which is this one? Is that door scroll one? So many new rules! <laughs> I'm not sure. At any rate, there we go. Collect rewards. I have got the Dwarvish Translation Guide. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Has that that done its its thing? I, I think it may have. I believe so, yes, maybe. 
I would love to live in an old farmhouse like you. The creak of the floorboard, the slow plumes of dust whispering through the rafters. There's something special about an old building, isn't there? There is indeed. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I can go play. Well, then you should get on with it. I lived in Palkentown my whole life. Can you believe that? I can. Uh, Aunt Marnie won't let me go out after six o'clock. It's not fair. One day you will understand why. Right. Well, that is all done. So, next stop is Willie's. Let's go ahead. Pop your gift up there. And we will see how this goes. Oh, I don't have any horseradishes. I need horseradishes, though. I need to give the gift of great honor. Ooh, rainbow shell. I can't appear to pick that up for some reason. There we go. There we go. Aha, wiggly worms. Will you too give me clay? No, stones. Well, at least, you know, it's different from last time. There we go. Some shellfish. Let's get these we baited. There we are. Wow, letting the animals out has actually saved me a lot of time. I feel like I've done a load of things today. Hello, Willy. Right, first and foremost, I would like... Hmm, slightly increase the bite rate. Treasure Hunter. Hmm. Uh, I mean, that's nice, but I think I'll go for the, the dressed spinner myself. Thank you very much. You may purchase these off me directly. There we go. And with that, I've got a present for you. Happy birthday, mate. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. You're welcome. Some fish come and go with the seasons. Others only come out at night or in the rain. Uh, this is very true, yes. Yes, I, I would imagine that you know that I know this, given that how much I have fished, and in fact, how much I have I've sold to you, and in fact, the fact that I beat you at fishing. Not that I wish to uh, keep reminding you that, yes, I do. I, I totally want to let the fisherman know that I beat him at fishing. This is a great achievement in my life. Uh, I never said I, I was, uh, <laughs> that I wasn't a petty individual. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay, so we've got a bunch of coral, which is always good. Uh, let's go for a little bit of a wander through the town, shall we? It is Wednesday, which means that the store is not open, unfortunately. Yeah, I should have popped down and gotten some grass the last time. But one thing I could do... Oh, you know what we could do? Yes, I think we are first and foremost going to say hello. The good mayor put me in charge of the town's public gardens. I've been working on the town flower beds for months, so don't step on them. As if I would. As if I could. I can't. They're, they're too high. My legs don't reach that high, apparently. Um, but we're going to go and pay Robin a visit and see if she would like to possibly upgrade the other farm. Uh, so the other barn? Uh, the other farm. I mean, apparently that is going to be how you get the multiplayer in Stardew to work, and yes, there will be multiplayer. It has been absolutely confirmed, and it will involve uh, Robin building farmhouses. Uh, well, little, like, um, houses for farmhands on your property. There'll still be a main player of the save, and they will have a bunch of things that only they um, have uh, control over. For example, they'll be the one to dictate... Ooh, that rainbow shell is actually very high quality. Let me pop that over here. Uh, yeah, we'll pop the rainbow shell there. Um, but they'll be the ones to dictate if uh, and when people go to bed. Um, also, uh, whether you side with Georgia or with the town. But the farm hands will be completely free to play the, the game uh, around that. Um, they, they can eat, romance different people, so there may be some contests going on for people's affections. And there's even word that they'll be able to romance each other, which is actually incredibly sweet. Though, they're looking at having a different system for romancing players, because they don't want it to just be a... It, it's hard to replace the effort involved in wooing an NPC because two players could simply just accept, accept it straight away. So they do want there to be um, work involved and they want it to be a similar amount of effort as is involved in wooing a, an NPC. 
but they will, uh, for example, not be using the mermaid's pendant. So it'll be a, a new system entirely, which is actually uh, quite interesting. I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out what that is. Right then, let's go and see if we can get over to Robin's before she closes shop. Let's grab everything we might need and go. Ride like the wind. Okay, there we go. Right. Okay, hello, 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 hello. Uh, you can add the cell for 100,000. No, it's fine. Uh, I would like to see what I'm going to need for this. Uh, a big barn is the only one that I can get now. 12,000. That's fine. I've already got the stone. I just need 450 wood. That should not be difficult for us to purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and buy 450 wood. And then we are going to get the last barn fully upgraded. There we go. And boom. Construct farm buildings, please. And yes, there we are. Oh, I'm so very happy to be getting this done. It also means that we can uh, go ahead and get more um, animals in the barns as well. It's actually pretty cool. There we go. We'll get that one upgraded to the next stage. Okay, I'll start work on your barn upgrade first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, Robin. Much obliged indeed. Uh, all right. Well, we've got a number of things that we can sell. Strawberry wine, peach wine, orange wine, loads of coffee that we can still put by. Um, sure. You know what, though? Before we do, let's go and uh, say hello to Linus. I was going to go and see if he was up at the bath, but no, he's over here. Ah, summer. The warm sun heats up the cans for me. Then, at night, I've got a warm meal to look forward to. I feel depressed now. So depressed. All right, here we go. Yoink. This is a great gift, thank you. You are welcome. But you know what? It's been a while. I'm just going to go and rest. I don't need to rest. But I'm, I'm going to go and, and hang out in the bathhouse for a little bit. Just because it's been so long since I did. Ah, there we go. And I'm always impressed with the magic trick of changing my clothes that goes on there. Because I don't stop moving. That is, that is some, some proper... Some proper wizardry going on there. Rasmodius is wise to take me as his apprentice, I feel. <sighs> okay, that's quite enough. Quite enough rest for me today. Okay, right, now I'm thinking... Hmm... We could go back down the mine. If we did, we should probably go deeper, I think. Now that we have the dwarf scroll, we can go and talk with the dwarf, and then we can go much deeper into the mine and maybe get some gold, I'm thinking. Once you've got the dwarf scroll, you really don't actually have to visit the mine too much. Um, they, they, well, at least as far as I've experienced, they're the last things that I get in this mine. Beyond that, you can go there to complete the monster hunting quest for the Adventurers Guild, or just to talk with the dwarf. But you, everything you can do in here you can be done better in the Skull Cavern. Hello! Hey, want to buy something? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, elixir of life, resource health to full. You know what? What one pot? Maybe I'll buy a bunch of that. Minus treat, a rare crow. Yes, please. Also, weathered floor. Thank you very, very much. Do I have anything particularly nice to give you? I do not. Maybe we can find something particularly nice to give you in the mine. But my inventory is is quite full at this point. I think. Why, why are you? Stop! Stop doing that! No! Why? Why? Nah! It won't stop jumping up there whenever I click on something. Okay, down to level 80 we go with our inventory freshly cleaned. Though uh, I am wondering why it keeps trying to do the... Oh, you know what I think is probably... Yeah, I can see the, the control is slightly uh, slightly on its side and it's probably uh, a button being pressed. Hmm, I am a derp. Oh, well. It's fine. We probably don't have to deal with it for too much longer in this episode. There we go. Uh, let's have a peek at what we can find down here. Anything of particular interest, perhaps? I have no idea, but we... Are we actually up to mining level 10 yet? No, one more level to go with mining levels, so we'll see about that. Maybe we can get it all the way? I don't know. Uh, we, we're getting to... Well, actually, you know what? We've got two seasons. Two full seasons yet to uh, explore on the game, so... 
yeah, I think we'll probably be able to get everything up to level 10 before um, year three starts. And that's the, the point where your grandfather will grade you based on how many skill ups you've uh, actually gained. You get quite a lot of points, I think, for getting all of your skills up to level 10. So it's well worth doing it if you can. Uh, it may involve trying to focus a lot more than usual, though. If we uh, if we find that the only skill left to, to get up is combat, for example. All uh, right, let's head down to the next level. At the moment, I'm mostly here just to mine, though. Normally, I would cut this out, but uh, I've received so much feedback with this particular game that people just like to hear me ramble while I'm playing it. I, I guess I can understand that, actually. Uh, there are certain games that I watch other people play largely just because I like listening to them talking while they're doing it. I'm not really paying too much attention to the game in most cases unless they, they get up to a point which is a little bit more involved. But mining is just moving around. Now, I might glance up every now and then if I heard someone exclaim in surprise and alarm like when I did when I found the Dwarf Scroll. But other than that, mining is mining really. Uh, let's try and get you out of the way. There we go. Ooh, hello, Hellbats, I'm assuming. Let's grab that. An Iridium pick would definitely be appreciated soon. And it's definitely something we're going to want if we start spending a lot of time mining in the Skull Cavern. We've got the best sword in the game, so taking out enemies is going to be very easy for us. Uh, but the actual act of mining will be quite difficult without an iridium pick even the regular stones will take quite a lot of work to get through that being said when i mine in the skull caverns is usually when i've got oodles of cash and i just decide to use bombs pretty much for the majority of my mining so it wouldn't necessarily be that that bad uh there we go once i run out of bombs there will be the time i'd need to head back up ah. Also, trying to uh, mine the walls of the cave, probably not the best idea, really. I can only assume that they're holding the uh, cave ceiling up. Hello, afraid you need to go. I do feel a little bit bad because I do know one of your, your friends and I'm actually friends with one of your friends, I assume. So I do wonder why you are always down here. Um, Actually, we better go. Uh, rather, why they're up in the town all the time. All right, let's have a quick look then. Uh, what am I going to drop off? We can drop off the bat. We pretty much need all of my tools. They're an obvious one. Um, all the coffee beans. I really should have dropped those off before. Uh, the slime can stay. The, the stone can stay. The sap can stay. And that's actually good enough for me, I think. Yep. Uh, well, actually, there's a lot of stone there. Uh, is there anything I could drop off? Anything I absolutely don't need to bring with me? Uh, the solar essence can stay. There we go. Right. Take me back to the bus stop because I am super late. Wow. I got distracted by me talking that time. You get. Uh, we should have enough time, though, to drop off a couple of things. So let's uh, make sure that these all go in there. Um, yeah, the maple syrup can go there, and the poppy honey can as well. But that is going to be it for tonight. We're going to have to get to bed rather sharpish. And we got a diamond. Hooray! There we go. We'll get a lot of those built soon. Actually, before we do, let's just see. What do they take to build? Requires gold bars, iridium bars, and batteries. Not actually that hard to get. Not that hard to get at all. I've got oodles of batteries because I haven't been building sprinklers everywhere. So, yeah, we should be able to build quite a lot of crystallariums. Whether I'd use them only for diamonds, I don't know. I, d I doubt it because uh, I would actually like quite a lot of the other um, gems for Emily. So maybe one or two of them for diamonds, though, just for making money. But with that, it is time for bed. No star, Emily. And there we go, 19,000 that time, 10,000 off farming. Let's have a quick glance in there. There we go, all of the wines brought us in quite a lot. And the goat cheese did quite well as well, as well as the uh, poppy honey. But really, the, the large mi milk did 
fantastically when you think about it but that's gonna be where we wrap up this episode it is day 25 of summer year two and we are going to quickly check the calendar make sure that everything is okay uh yeah we're clear all the way up to the dance of the moonlight jellies so uh with that i'm gonna say goodbye i do hope you enjoyed the episode though and will be joining me for the next but until then and as always do take care of yourselves <laughs>